Hello, Bob Hughes here with JD Squared, and in this video we're going to show you a feature in our rotary cutting software called Camelot that allows you to process a workpiece longer than the physical capabilities of your machine. So in order to start that, first thing we need to talk about is how does the program know how long your machine is. Let's go to the settings tab move over to the machine tab and right here under maximum length is where you would enter the um, the maximum length of workpiece that your machine could handle so for instance just say you had a eight foot mad plasma cutting table you might be limited to 96 98 inches in that area you would enter that value here now for this example we're just going to assume that we have a 10 foot long machine and we're going to enter 120 inches we'll say okay now in order to better illustrate this process I created a piece of tube in SolidWorks called the long tube roll bar um, we're going to import that step file the long tube roll bar here and here we here it is right here now the program is asking do we want to detect features and by features we mean anything that has been done to the workpiece whether it's a mark a hole cut have we notched the end to feed up or have we put a bend in it so we are going to say yes we want to detect the features only way the program will know what to do now over here on the right side as part of that process if you notice all dies in stock what this means is is that you and your facility have the the actual capability of creating this part for instance suppose that you had imported a part that the bins were not what your two bender produced well it would tell you that over here that you've got a little bit of a problem you're going to need to modify the part at which case you would then um, go into our frame editor and there you have the choice of, of changing one or all bins to different radiuses and stuff like that I just wanted to point that out to you but for this current video it's asking do we want to make a job for the tubes now a job in Camelot means anything that has been done to the tube or the workpiece but not counting bending of the tubing itself doing the bends that's actually another process inside this program and a subject of another video but since we want to mark the tubing and cut it we are going to make a job so we're going to say yes make a job now if I did it click if I click no I could always come back later right click on the tubing and select make job right here it's calculating how much tubing is required because remember when you've been tubing the tube stretches and when it stretches the program needs to know how much it stretched so that it could reduce the length of your raw material that you need to do it it's also doing a thing called normalization and I will bring that over here and show you and normalization is this right here to where this is your actual physical tube but remember a tube of the torch and your plasma cutter is straight up and down so it had to analyze the tube and calculate a new path based on the torch being perpendicular to the tube now if we zoom in here look what we got here warning max tube length equals 120 inches the program just told you you cannot process this whole tube in your machine and this yellow line right here running the length of the workpiece is that is signifying the fact that when this program generates code to go out run on the machine it's going to generate everything within that yellow line so we need to clearly split this tube because we cannot process it on our 10 foot machine it's very easy to do oh by the way if you look also you see all the marks right here tells you where to place the um, the workpiece into your tube bender to bend it the degree of angle where it's actually going to start bending that's the green band and where your mark is on your die to line up that's the red band and then the line of course is we're going to want this vertical um, with the tubing bending die so that um, you can locate it properly and be on the right angle anyway here's our warning once again so what we're going to do is we are going to right click on the tube and simply split it in two and that's what it's doing right now and I will zoom back in so we could see it all if you look over here on the left side we have created two operations a start operation and an end operation now the end operation is clearly this side over here that is because the yellow line signifies which operation we're doing notice the little square cutouts down here as soon as I click to the end the square cutouts have moved to this side and essentially what I'm showing you here is that the tubing has been flipped around now what we're going to do is we're going to process this 
or at the machine in two programs. The first program will be the start program and then the second program. First thing we need to do is add some operations. Let's go ahead and add a marking operation so that we could use the marker system in the machine to do all of the um, all of the text and the lines and everything that we're going to need right there. Now let's go ahead and add an operation. It's going to be the plasma cutting operation and it will do all of the cutting, the holes, etc. the end and everything like that. Now what we need to do is over here is the G code. No G code is generated because we haven't done anything yet. We just told it what the operations are. We're going to go ahead and run the post. Here's all your G code now to run program one. You know, so what we're going to do at this point, we could animate this. We load our tubing up into our into our machine out there, and we hit animate go. And what it's doing here is it's doing all the markers. Let's speed this up a little bit so she's a little quicker. It's doing all of the marking first, and then what it will do just before it gets done, it's going to come along, and you see that little X right there. That is your split marker and the split marker will be the last thing it marks and that will be where we will align the laser up for the second program now, right now let's just go ahead and fast forward this through and you can see right here it just cut the end of the tube off and it's it's finished right now with this part here now if we go back now we generate two programs and we could have loaded both programs on a USB taken them out to the machine now at the machine we take the tubing out of the to out of the machine and we flip it around and we load it back into the jaws we then using the control panel we are going to rotate the die I mean rotate the workpiece and we're going to move the laser pointer to basically point right in the middle of that crosshair that you saw earlier now the second program will use that crosshair as a program origin to create the rest of, or to, to do the rest of the geometry and this could be seen right here so we say go first thing of course is it's going to it's going to do marking exactly like it did before and we're going to and we're going to fast forward through this so we don't have to wait let's get up here now what you're going to see now it's actually cutting right so it's going to cut the squares out and then it will cut the end out right here go back out Okay, at that point, you have finished. Your your double long or, or, or long work piece here has been completed. How long was this work piece? The program calculated that, well, that part there is 73 inches, so it's going to be a little more than double that, you know. Um, anyway, that's how you split tube in Camelot. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video was helpful, and you have a great day. Bye.